Welcome to today's presentation on Phototherapy in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit NICU. In this session, we will explore the use of phototherapy as a common treatment for jaundice in newborns. Join us as we delve into the details of phototherapy, its indications, mechanisms, and considerations in the NICU setting. Phototherapy is a non-invasive treatment modality used to manage neonatal jaundice. It involves exposing the newborn's skin to specific wavelengths of light, typically blue or green, to help convert the bilirubin pigment into a form that can be easily excreted from the body. The purpose of phototherapy is to prevent or reduce the buildup of bilirubin, which can lead to the development of severe jaundice and its associated complications. Indications for phototherapy include newborns who develop hyperbilirubinemia, a condition characterized by elevated levels of bilirubin in the blood. It is commonly used in cases of physiological jaundice, where the bilirubin levels rise as a normal part of the newborn's adjustment after birth. Phototherapy is also employed in certain pathological conditions, such as hemolytic disease of the newborn or blood group incompatibility, to prevent the harmful effects of excessive bilirubin. Phototherapy works by converting the unconjugated bilirubin into water-soluble isomers that can be easily eliminated from the body through urine and stool. The specific wavelengths of light used in phototherapy penetrate the skin and interact with the bilirubin molecules, promoting their breakdown and excretion. The light source can be provided through overhead lights or specialized phototherapy devices. There are two primary types of phototherapy used in the NICU. Conventional phototherapy involves placing the newborn under overhead lights, exposing as much skin surface area as possible to the light source. The baby is usually naked or wearing only a diaper to maximize light exposure. Fiber optic phototherapy, on the other hand, uses fiber optic blankets or pads containing light-emitting diodes, LEDs, that are placed directly on the baby's skin, providing targeted and focused phototherapy. Phototherapy in the NICU requires careful monitoring and considerations. Newborn's eyes are particularly sensitive to light, and appropriate eye protection, such as eye patches or goggles, should be used during phototherapy to prevent potential eye damage. Maintaining a warm and stable environment is crucial as phototherapy can increase heat loss in newborns. Adequate feeding and frequent diaper changes are necessary to ensure hydration and eliminate bilirubin through urine and stool. Encouraging parental involvement during phototherapy helps promote bonding and provide support to families. Phototherapy is generally effective in reducing bilirubin levels and managing neonatal jaundice. The duration and intensity of phototherapy depend on the baby's bilirubin levels, gestational age, and overall health. Close monitoring of bilirubin levels through blood tests helps determine the effectiveness of phototherapy and guide treatment decisions. While phototherapy is considered a safe treatment, there are a few potential complications to be aware of. Prolonged exposure to light can cause skin rashes or dryness, so proper skin care and monitoring are essential. Heat loss can occur during phototherapy, leading to hypothermia. Maintaining a warm environment and monitoring the baby's temperature is important. Without appropriate eye protection, phototherapy can cause eye damage, so using eye patches or goggles is crucial to prevent such complications. In conclusion, phototherapy is a common and effective treatment for neonatal jaundice in the NICU. By utilizing specific wavelengths of light, phototherapy helps convert bilirubin into a form that can be easily eliminated from the body. Careful monitoring, considerations for the baby's well-being, and parental involvement are key in providing safe and effective phototherapy. Thank you for your attention. We hope this overview of phototherapy in the neonatal ICU has provided you with valuable insights into this important treatment modality for managing neonatal jaundice.